Hello guys, a long time since my last video, uh, but today I will try to fix my Asus Radeon 5700 XT Strix. Um, I bought this card used and uh, when I tried to mine with it, I had crazy temperature. So undervolted, uh, the card had 90 degrees uh, GPU temperature, around 105, 110, probably thermal throttling on the hotspot and uh, around 100 and maybe above 100 on the memory so i had a lot of trouble mining with it because the miner was kept shutting down because of the high temperatures so i decided to open it up and try to replace pads and thermal paste and uh, i will show you how i did it i hope this video helps you guys f deal with this card because asus just made a whole mess with this 5700 series so let's get to it as we can see at the back plate here there is a huge gap where the thermal pads should go and at the other end is like one millimeter here is like four the whole back plate is bent and this is really really bad design first we have to remove the back plate by removing these screws here these two and then I will remove the heatsink and change the thermal paste. Now we can remove the back plate if all the screws are removed and they are not. There is one left. stuck um, you can unplug the LED from here gently I'll put it back later and my phone fell yeah they put thermal pads the thickness of I don't know four millimeters at least that's way too much We have to remove this grease left over from the pads. The best way to do it is to use 100% alcohol, but I don't have it, so a regular paper will have to do. If you remove this sticker here, you'll probably void your warranty, so be sure you know what you're doing. Now I will remove the rest of the screws to remove the heatsink, these four and these two are removed here, and unplug the fans gently, very gently. And I guess fans as well or something else, I'm not sure, maybe RGB on fan, but it needs to be unplugged. Oh yeah, also you have these four screws here, the small ones, they should be removed as well. Now we can lift the PCB and here it is, the insides, the paste is obviously very very bad on this GPU. Hopefully we will get 10 to 15 degrees less and I will change these thermal pads as well. They are thinner than those ones. I think these ones are 1.5 millimeter and on the back plate should be 3 millimeters. And I think they put 4 or maybe 5 and they just get compressed. You can use this spatula from thermal paste to remove the previous one that's quite and hard I'm actually wondering why this is not copper but we'll 
plate, neutral plate or something. Uh, I will use MX5 optic. I also have pan out, but uh, I think this one will do the job just fine. After you scrape it from from your heatsink, do the same on the GPU itself until it's clean and nice. I don't know I have your point if your paste is like mine like not soft at all and moist I think it's bad and you should change it and you should have changed it a long time ago in order to remove these heat sinks for the memory you need to remove this screw and this screw and pull this whole thing up if you apply a little bit of force especially here this will come off and here we have the pads for the memory that we need to change definitely because asus apparently thought that saving one dollar on thermal pads is a smart thing and uh, we will put 1.5 millimeter here. I will use these thermal pads for the memory 1.5 millimeters. Gelid. Some people say they're good. I haven't tested them yet, so this is my first experience with them. Instead of putting a big strip of uh, pads on top of the heatsink, I will measure the size of the memory chip and put. Um, thermal pad on it, each chip separately so it's 14 by let's see 12 14 by 12 and we need one two three four five six seven eight of those so this is the aftermath so this is how it should look like so we change the thermal pads on the memory here as well don't forget these three little things I'm not sure what it is <coughs> and uh, apply the thermal paste on the GPU and spread it evenly across the GPU. So it should look like that and now we can reverse the process and then just assemble the this aluminum frame back. And this is how the back plate looks like. I put the three millimeter pads here. Uh, I didn't this is as much as I had if you have more put a little bit uh, bigger uh, square here because this is the original size that was there I put a smaller as much as I had because I only had one strap of three millimeters so we'll see how this does and now I can assemble the back plate and I will test uh, to see if this helped and if we have some temperatures that are reasonable so here we are I installed the GPU back in and as you can see the GPU temperature is 50 degrees hotspot 52 and memory 84 with 60% fan so before I did this I made a mistake by not recording the actual temperatures but you guys will have to trust on my word that the GPU temperature was 90 degrees so the miner was actually shutting down because the GPU temperature was too high I had to increase the limit for shutting down to 95 the hotspot was 106 to 110 and memory was around 100 so I dropped like 40 degrees on the GPU temperature and almost 55 on hotspot and memory around 15 degrees so this is actually amazing and uh, before those temperatures were with 100% fan now it's only 60% it's super quiet and I'm super happy with this I hope this video helps you guys to fix your magnificent asus trix cards that are built like like garbage but uh, it is an easy fix not so expensive to do and not so hard to do and if you like the video please like and uh, subscribe thank you see you soon